Dan, we've had this earnings season just absolutely littered with concerns about supply chain issues, whether that's semiconductors or elsewhere. But at the same time, we are still seeing some more hawkish central banks from the Bank of Canada to, to what we're seeing from the Bank of England. What is the strategy here? Do you think central banks are going to be as aggressive and moving towards the exit because they see inflation and it doesn't really matter what's causing it? I think central banks are caught between a rock and a hard place. You see that uh, the Central Bank of Canada, for example, is uh, more open to uh, reduce the purchases, but that's not a possibility for the Fed or for the uh, ECB. Both the Fed and the ECB need to maintain a very aggressive uh, purchase policy fundamentally because the government on the, the the government in the United States and the governments in the eurozone are not able to absorb an increase in rates that would uh, create a very significant increase as well in the bond yields of sovereigns uh, with the massive deficit spending plans and the huge uh, imbalances that mm, both economies are entering into so my concern is that mm, central banks let uh, inflation run loose for a, a prolonged period of time. We believe that inflation will be uh, at least persistent into 2023 and ignore the monetary factors of inflation with uh, messages about supply chain disruptions. Yet, at the same time, uh, governments are not doing a lot about their deficit spending. So it's becoming a, a very difficult situation because central banks cannot taper as they probably should at this moment. And at the same time, governments have not prepared themselves for a rising government bond yields.